Alright, what's going on everybody? In this video I gotta explain nested loops in C. A nested loop is really just a loop that's inside of another loop. It can be any combination of for loops, while loops, or do while loops. Here's an example. We'll start with the for loop. All we'll do is print the numbers 1 through 9. We're going to set int i equal to 1. Continue as long as i is less than 10. Then increment i by 1 with i++. During each cycle of this loop, we're going to print the following using printf. We're going to display an integer, we need a format specifier of percent %d, followed by a space. Then we will display whatever i is, our counter. It'll start at 1 and stop once it reaches 10. Here's the output. We have the numbers 1 through 9. Each cycle is separated with a space. What if I would like to do this three times? Without using any sort of nested loops, we could do the following. Well, we would need a for loop three times, and really we can just copy and paste what we already have. There's one thing we're missing currently, but I'll show you the output. We do display the numbers 1 through 9 three times, because we're using three different loops. 1 through 9, 1 through 9, 1 through 9. Before each for loop, I'm going to print a new line character, just so it's easier for us to read. After escaping the for loop, let's print the following. Just a new line character. And here's the new output. We're displaying the numbers 1 through 9 three times because we're using three different loops. We are repeating ourselves a lot. We try our best to follow the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself. And we're repeating ourselves three times. What we can do instead is write a loop that will cycle three times and stick this loop within it. Here's a demonstration. Let's create another loop. For int i, I'll set this equal to 1. We'll continue as long as i is less than 4. Increment i by 1. This loop is going to cycle three times, then stop once i reaches 4. Let's take the loop that we've previously written, cut it, and then paste it within this other loop. There's one issue I would like to bring up before we run this. We're reusing the same index of i within the outer loop and the inner loop. If you have an inner loop, a common naming convention for the index is to use j rather than i, because j comes next in the alphabet. This is a common programming practice. Then we're going to print j. Just be sure that you're using a different counter with the outer loop and the inner loop. And this will have the same output as we did previously. We get the numbers 1 through 9 three times. We have an inner loop that prints the numbers 1 through 9. Then our outer loop just cycles three times. A nested loop is really just having a loop inside of another loop. Here's an exercise that we can work with. We'll create a multiplication table. We'll start with the loop that cycles 10 times. 4 int i is equal to 1 will continue as long as i is less than or equal to 10, then increment i by 1. During each cycle of this loop, I'm going to print the following. We'll display an integer and a space to follow each value. We will display whatever i is. This will give us the numbers 1 through 10, each separated with a space. Now, I would like to do this 10 times. We'll need another loop to cycle 10 times, and really we can just copy what we have to save a little bit of time. This outer loop is also going to cycle 10 times. Let's cut this for loop, paste it within the outer loop, but change the index from i to j. Be sure that we're printing j rather than i, because i forgot to change that originally. After the inner for loop is complete, we're going to print a new line character using printf. We're going to display just a new line character. Here's the output. We get the numbers 1 through 10 10 times. Rather than displaying j, we're going to multiply i times j and output the result. Here's our multiplication table currently but we'll want to do a little bit of formatting because nothing's really aligned properly. 
with the format specifier, I'll allocate three spaces, let's say, to display each integer. And here's our multiplication table. 1 times 1 is 1. 10 times 10 is 100. And we have everything in between. These indices of i and j are going to change. That's how you can use nested loops to display a multiplication table. All right, one last example. Using nested loops, we're going to create some two-dimensional rectangles. A user is going to enter in the number of rows and columns and a symbol that they want to use. Int rows, I'll set that to be 0. Int columns, I will set that to be 0. And a character, which we will name symbol. And I will set this to be a null terminator. We'll create a prompt. Enter the number of rows, colon, space. We'll use scanf to get an integer. The format specifier is percent %d at the address of our rows variable. We're asking how many rows do you want for our 2D graphics? Then the columns. Enter number of columns at the address of our variable columns. Then a symbol to use. Enter a symbol to use. We're accepting a character, and we also want to remove the new line character from the input buffer. Before the format specifier, we'll add a space to ignore any white spaces or new line characters at the address of our symbol variable. Let's see what we have currently. We should be able to enter in the number of rows, columns, and a character. We'll say three rows, nine columns, and I'll use an at sign. Okay, so far so good. Now here's the tricky part. Our outer loop is going to be in charge of the rows. Our inner loop is in charge of the columns. Let's start with the columns. That's going to be the inner loop. We'll need a for loop. Int i, I'll set that equal to zero. We'll continue as long as i is less than our columns variable. Let's pretend that columns is 9. We're going to cycle this loop 9 times then. Then increment i by 1. For the time being, let's print our symbol to test it. We need a format specifier of c because we're displaying a character. Then display whatever our symbol is. Currently, this should only be one row. I'll just type in three rows, nine columns, and I'll use an at symbol. And this should be nine, nine columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now we need an outer for loop that's in charge of the rows. Let's create another for loop. Int i is equal to zero. We'll continue as long as i is less than our variable of rows. Increment i by 1. We're going to take our previous for loop, cut it, and paste it within this loop. This is the outer loop, this is the inner loop. Once we finish displaying each row, we'll want to print a new line character to go down to the next line. Display a new line character. The outer loop is in charge of the rows. The inner loop is in charge of the columns. Now here's the result. Enter the number of rows, I'll say 3. Enter the number of columns, I'll say 9. Enter a symbol to use, I'll use an at sign. And there we are. We have a rectangle. It has 3 rows and 9 columns. Let's test it one last time. I'll mix up the number of rows and columns. Let's do 6 rows, 3 columns, and I'll use a dollar sign. We have six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, and three columns, one, two, three. All right, everybody, so those are nested loops. It's really just any kind of loop within another loop. There's various different situations in which you'll find you'll need a nested loop. And well, everybody, those are nested loops in C.